guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you a no-sew project for your next theme park adventure. I'm using some really cute licensed Disney fabric and fabric Mod Podge to pull these looks together. It's important that you use the fabric formula because this is going to allow fabric to stick to fabric. So grab a blank tote bag and we're gonna make an applique. So I'm just using some circular objects from my house to trace some circles. I've got two shapes for our little mouse ears and a bigger shape for our mouse face. You're gonna go ahead and cut those out. Now for best results, you should wash your fabric first and then press it flat. And I'm just applying the Fabric Mod Podge directly to the fabric. This will be machine washable, but you do have to let it cure. You can check the bottle for all of the cure times. So just go ahead and add a nice thin coat and then you're just gonna pick it up and place it right in the center of a tote bag. And you can grab these tote bags, I think at all the craft stores and even some of your big box stores too will have plain ones. Go ahead and smooth out your fabric and make sure you press those edges so it's really stuck down all the way around. Then you'll just continue on adding all of your small circles to make your little mouse ears. So you can see how easy it is to layer up those circles. Now, if you want to, you can create a bow shape and put that in the center, again, with the same Fabric Mod Podge formula. Okay, so for that trim, I'm using the same Fabric Mod Podge. Just apply it to the back of your trim, and then I use some little clothespins just to clip it in place while it's drying. It is that easy to make over a quick tote bag, no sew. All right, let's take a look at the hats. I made the hat in the same way using the Fabric Mod Podge to add the trim. And for my little mini there, I just used some fabric and I cut her out and made an applique that I applied with the Fabric Mod Podge. You could do one, you could do many, you can really create your own design. This is such a fun theme park DIY. Thanks for checking out these fun no-sew projects. If you love them, give them a thumbs up and share. And if you want to see more content like that, make sure you're subscribed. I'll be back here with another fun project to share with you.